I would think I'm a genuine person. I sometimes can be mouthy. That is basically what a lot of friends, voters, and people that know me close I, I can be loud. But I'm true, and I'm fair, and I believe in fairness. I was born in Salem County, been here all my life. I always said, I'm not related to anybody in the state of New Jersey. It's me and my mom and dad and my brother. My mom and my dad both are from Philadelphia. Mom was a tax collector. Before that, she was a homemaker, took care of me and my brother. My dad worked at DuPont. Mom didn't want him coming across the bridge all the time. He came over when he was working, did a little scouting of the area and said, hey, I found a really nice town. And we just set up roots here and I just never wanted to leave. Never had a reason. My education, life lessons throughout life, uh, learning and certifications that way. Don't necessarily have the college, but got involved in the fire department when EMS, and then that's just where it bloomed from there. Became a paramedic, was a paramedic for 10 years. Not a paramedic, I'm back to as a, an EMT. There's a different certification for that. I'm an EMT instructor, and it's just what I've been doing. I own a restaurant and some food trucks. Been in that business for a oh, long time. It's American-ish food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, do a lot of catering as well. I've been voting since I was 18 years old. And of course you follow the path of your parents. I was not always a Republican. My grandparents originally were Democrat. Grandfather was Irish Catholic from Philadelphia. But as time went on and I became more, a little more involved, my eyes woke up and there was just things that, that I didn't understand or wasn't true. And again, back to fairness and being truthful. When I ran for assembly, it was a very exciting time, but I knew at that point that I wanted to make a difference. It was time for some change in this district. I think the voters knew, and I was recognized as someone that might be able to make some change. District 3 has been, is a little bit different as far as other counties or other districts because we're a farming community and we're together here. We, you know, we're like a family here. We all look out for each other. More could be done. We could have more help from Trenton as far as economics, business building. They're not listening to their constituents. And I at least want to be a voice somehow in Trenton. The career politicians, mm -mm, can't have that anymore. The voters were tired of what was going on and they want a true voice. And here I am. <laughs> that, that.